Bill Gates wants mosquitoes to screw each other to death in order to save mankind. <laughs> That's a little wild. Oh, I got this story out of the New York Post. Microsoft founder Bill Gates is pouring over $4 million into a project to create killer mosquitoes that destroy each other through sex. Oh my God, I've been destroyed many times by sex. Uh, I should say sex has led to my destruction. It's a bold bid to curb malaria, okay? Trying to control malaria. This is a deadly disease typically transmitted through the bite of infected mosquitoes. So Bill Gates is gonna use money from his own charity organization to get rid of malaria within one generation, he claims. That's his goal. Very, very uh, ambitious. So only female mosquitoes bite. So Bill Gates' army of gene-engineered male mosquitoes are gonna be safe to humans because they do not bite. Uh, what's important is that these male mosquitoes contain a self-limiting gene that gets passed on to their female mates. And then when the females give birth, their offspring will die before they reach adulthood thanks to this gene. And seeing as mosquitoes only start biting uh, once they become adults, the danger of blood-sucking female mosquitoes will be eradicated. This means it would, be, it would be possible to stem the spread of malaria through the mosquito bites and the gene-altering method that uh, the Gates Foundation is working on. This is quite amazing um, and it's really impressive. Uh, you gotta say, the things that science can do now, we can really you know, improve our quality of life greatly and uh, you know, looking into this sort of like microbiology and, and gene and stem cell research, DNA sequencing, all of this stuff. This is all gonna be part of the future when we live on the moon. <laughs> uh, this has worked before apparently in some areas the wild uh, the wild populations of um, Aedes aegypti, which is the mosquito that carries the Zika virus, has been reduced by 90%. This is crazy. Uh, but the malaria-carrying Anopheles mosquito require a new genetically modified breed to mate with. Uh, the mosquitoes are expected to be, to be ready for trials by the end of 2020. But not everyone is happy about the prospect of genetically modified mosquitoes. Okay. This work has been criticized by a group called Friends of the Earth. Yes, there's always a group that gets mad at everything. I mean, there's, I should say, there's a group for every area that you could possibly get angry at. There's a group for it. Okay, you can name anything that you're doing. Um, do you eat more than four pies a day? Well, there's a group that's anti-eating four pies a day. The anti-pie eating organization is out there somewhere, and they will come and pick it on your doorstep. There's a group of pe every, for every little thing you can imagine. There's a group of angry people ready to take to Twitter and make and get on their hands and knees and use crayon and draw signs. I mean, do these people not have anything better to do? You know, it's really something to me. They're, they never add anything to the culture. I have to say, they never do. They never do. They just create noise. They create noise, and and oftentimes they slow down a progress that's going to happen anyways. Which is in this case, this is exactly what's happening. And it's going to happen. You can't stop this. Genetically engineering, it's not happening. Look at it. It's already happened with our food. Okay? It's not going to end. It's onward and upward from here. So your energy is best spent trying to work a way to make this new life and science that's going on uh, as safe as possible and, and make the future as, uh, you know, make it an easier transition uh, as possible. You know, that's, there's where your efforts will be worthy. Not trying to stop it, because you ain't gonna stop it, man. Go into the grocery store right now, pick up an apple. That is, you know, this is GM. Everything is modified. Not everything. The food's being modified. Okay, this shit's being modified. Human beings are modifying each other now. This is happening. Have you not noticed the modification that's going on? This is, this is the future of, of, of all life, okay? Mankind came out of this earth with an extremely powerful mind, okay, capable of creating technologies that are now going to shape not only human nature, but the nature of the biosphere. And you gotta be ready to just embrace that because it's not, we're not going backwards, okay? <laughs> so anyways, the friends of the earth hate this. <laughs> First of all, who defends mosquitoes? I mean, come on, the most annoying little shits on the earth and you're gonna sit there and defend them? I mean, get, get a life, man. Uh, the Friends of the Earth's Eric Hoffman said, Trials of its mosquitoes must not move forward in the absence of comprehensive and impartial reviews of the environmental, human health, and ethical risks. First of all, ethical risks? Really? Okay. These are mosquitoes, okay. Uh, 
In the statement at the time, the Friends of the Earth said, the GM mosquitoes are intended to reduce the wild population by mating with naturally occurring mosquitoes and producing progeny which don't survive, thus reducing the population and therefore the transmission of the topical disease dengue fever. Uh, the company has been widely criticized for putting its commercial interests ahead of public and environmental safety. I, I mean, it doesn't seem that way to me. I mean, I don't know what you're arguing about. All right, this is a, this is an improvement, and I know there's a lot of groups out there trying to defend this. You know, we're not totally eradicating mosquitoes. Okay, there's a certain breed of mosquitoes. How many kinds of mosquitoes there are? Well, if it's anything like beetles, there's thousands of different versions of them. Okay, so this is just one particular one that carries the disease. If you want to wipe the whole thing out. I'm okay with that. We should all be okay with that. All right? Have you have you not looked around and seen the extinction that's gone on? <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? We're looking. you open your eyes and look around, and the the wildlife that you see on the Earth is like three percent of all the wildlife that we had. That it's it's all that's left because like 95 to 97 percent of of the animals have gone extinct. All right, already. Okay. Extinction is part of the situation, and we're still moving forward. I get it. Okay, so we're not saying remove all mosquitoes. We're saying one strand of mosquitoes. And by the way, just get a grip. All right. Maybe I'm an asshole here, though. I mean, call me out if you think I'm a dick uh, about this. But I mean, I don't see the big deal. I I lock this into the whole, you know, uh, category called you know, uh, moving mankind forward, helping us out any way we can. Look at life is hard. Everything is out there to extinguish us. I mean, there's going to be, it could be a meteor smash. I mean, who knows? It could come from any, any, which, any which way. Disease, we should, if we can control one part of our possible extinction, and that's disease, let's try and do that, okay? We can handle that. We can't handle the asteroid coming in. We never know when that's going to happen, but we can handle little things like disease. Let's get a grip on that. Uh, nutrition, all right? GNA, DNA modification, gene sequencing, all this crap. I like this. Um, but then again, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. You guys can tell me.